Australia has some of the best nature in the world, and no one loves their nature more than me. But Australia has much more to offer. The little towns nestled between the big cities and the amazing people that live there. Today I'm going to take a walk through Delenequin. We're going to have a little look at it, and then maybe we might meet some of my friends. Let's get it. Go and get it. Cause it's absolutely Wow, it's hot today. We've had four 40 degree days in a row and the heat really builds up. It heats the ground and the bricks. Uh, even the locals are complaining. Anyway, while I'm walking uh, into the town centre, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a life update. Originally, I came to Delenequin to work at a rice mill, trying to earn loads of money with loads of overtime. But sadly, there's not that much overtime going at the mill. So I've had to change tact. When I first arrived, I decided to get my white card because there's always opportunity for construction work. So on Monday, I started a construction company that builds massive bridges from scratch. They do all elements of building the bridge, all the fabrication, all the concrete, and all the demolition, everything. And it's a great chance for me to learn loads of new skills that I can take over the at least three years I'm here. I stutter when I say three years though. I've fallen in love with the place already. I absolutely love Australia. Now the plan to travel the world is definitely still on, but I do need a home base. And I love the UK, but it's completely knackered. The economy is broken. The weather is horrific. The people are sad. And I just don't see a change. I don't see a change in government making any difference. Uh, and it just gets worse and worse as the years go on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply for my permanent residency. I absolutely love it here. Now the channel's called Capitalist Buddhist, so let's give you a little bit of the capitalism. Here in Deneloquin, I could probably earn as a teacher, for example, which I was in the UK, about $125,000. $125,000 uh, equates to about 65,000 pounds. It's almost double what I was on in the UK. A house price for a three bedroom, two, be two bathroom house with land here is about 300,000 pounds. That's about half price or less than in the UK. So a single uh, annual wage, if you look at it, annual wage to pay off your house in the UK, you're looking at about nine times your annual wage. Here, it's two or three. And I mean, look at how stunning it is. Look at these horses here. Those birds, the dogs, it's just absolutely wicked here. Why would I not want to try and get permanent residency? The other thing is, I'm planning to be here for at least three years anyway. It takes four years after you gain your permanent residency to become a citizen. Why would I not want an Australian passport? This place is incredible, man. Right, let's go. And here we are, the Buncher, where dreams are made. The best bar in the whole world. Head to yourself over there on a Friday night for the best meat raffle ever. I lost last night, so I'm gonna be hungry for the rest of the week. But we still love you, Chris. Just past the Buncher, heading into town. And this is the reason why most people visit Delenequin. The Edward River. Oh, it's amazing. I don't know whether you can see, there's a couple of people kayaking right at the bottom there. But it's really famous for its water sports, jet skiing, um, boating, that sort of thing. I don't know much about water sports, but everyone's right into it. Um, I'm hoping to take their kayak out on there soon. That'll definitely be a video. Uh, but the Edward is just a beautiful river. And the fishing here is apparently fantastic, particularly for the cod. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it's stunning in the sun. It just, it just sparkles like. So 
most people that visit Delenequin will definitely be here for the water sports in some way. Hopefully today we're going to get down with a few mates to have a barbecue by the river. Uh, I brought my shorts, so maybe I'll have a little jump in. Uh, but yeah, the way it glistens is just amazing. Now apparently it's brown because of the tea tree leaves uh, that make it that colour. But I must say it's quite silty um, on the bed of the bed of the river. So I think I think it's a lot to do with the mud as well. But someone told me it's to do with uh, the tea tree leaves. If you know anything about the Edward River or or typical rivers like it, and you want to fill me in, please do in the comments. Everyone, uh, all the Australians have really been helping me out in my last few videos. I really do appreciate it. Thanks very much. So as we go south over the bridge here, uh, we're about three, four minutes from my house. Uh, we start to come into Delaniquin itself. Now over here, just behind me, I don't know whether you can see, yeah, I'll show you. Is a, a ute on a pole. I asked my hairdresser today what I should show everyone, and she said, show them the ute on the pole. So, there you go, there's a ute on a pole. For everyone that doesn't know what a ute is, it's basically a pickup truck. Thinking about tourism in Delaney Quinn, the thing Delaney Quinn's most famous for is the ute muster. It's the largest ute muster in the world. This is where a lot of people with pickup trucks come and muster together. They're like, come and make a big group. And there's music, and it's a festival, and a whole big thing. Uh, it's in October though. So, if, like, I think I'll be able and want to stay in Delaniquin. So hopefully I'll be there for it. Because it's meant to be a wicked time. Uh, there's an actual Ute muster site. It's just outside the town. And today they've got a music festival on there called Play on the Plains. And we were all thinking of going, but uh, it's just too hot. It's just way too hot. So yeah, this is the this is the U on a pole. Very American, isn't it? It's a great town. This it's a great town. This I feel like such a divvy walking around with a camera though, because you know you get to know everyone pretty quickly. So here we are at the Crossings Calf. It's a very old building, absolutely beautiful breakfast here. It's also got tourist information, so I'm gonna head in. Uh, I'm gonna try and find out a little bit more of the history because everyone knows everything about the bars but nothing about the history of Delanigwood, so let's check it out. You know what? Small towns are so underrated, especially this one. Absolutely no one's heard of Delanigwood and it's, it's just lovely and the people are just lovely. I get, I, th I really do think cities are so overrated. I had a great time in Sydney, don't get me wrong, but you just you just don't get that small town feel, you know, where everyone's like proud and 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 really going out of the way to help you. Marge in the uh, tourist information there was so helpful. She's gave there's a a map. Uh, I'll, I might video a little bit of that in a minute. Uh, Dinlenequin is not very big. There's about eight, just under 8,000 people live here. Um, it was created in the late 1800s. So it's, it's not even that old, not from a British perspective. And it looks to me like a saloon town in America. So they point out a few things, mainly churches, the historical society. I don't know whether we'll be able to get over there today. Um, but the tourist information center itself is the old public school and lovely Marge there She said that if you are over 60 and lived in Delaniquin your whole life The likelihood is that you went to this school at some point in your life So I'll give you a little look at the at the building. This is the tourist information center See the ram's head on the top there Beautiful, absolutely lovely. I've got to admit, my school building was probably older than that. 
uh, and it's still in use today. Big up Trinity Carlisle. Right, let's go and see what else she's put on the map. And the obsession with Ute continues. Trams Ute, Mosaic, EK, Holden Ute. Oh, this is the, oh yes. My hairdresser was saying about this as well. This is like the Ute that's been made from recycled materials. They just love the Utes in Delenequin, you know. They absolutely love it. What a nice little bit of art. Hey, do you know what it reminds me of? The Angel of the North? The Ute of Delenequin? Another beautiful shot of the Edward there. The Edward River actually runs into the Murray River, which is a very famous, massive river in the south part of New South Wales. I think it goes into Victoria as well. I think it might actually border uh, New South Wales and Victoria. Uh, but this is the Edward, which is one of the tributaries to the Murray. Like I said, loads of people doing water sports. They've just gone there, but there's a guy in a jet ski, some people in the kayaks. Yeah, it's, it's a well-enjoyed river, that's for sure. And it is really, really beautiful. Oh, by the way, when you're in the tourist information centre, uh, if you're struggling for sun cream or uh, mosquito repellent, they give it out for free on days like this, which is super nice. Another reason you should come to the small towns of Australia. It's just a different experience, man. It's just a different experience. And it's eye-wateringly beautiful. Eye-wateringly beautiful. So let's spend another five minutes walking up here and then we'll be at the end of town. <laughs> So, I'm learning lots. This place is called the Island Sanctuary. It's got loads of animals, kangaroos and all of that crack. Yeah, it's great. But what's really interesting is the sanctuary is also the burial site of old Jack who suffered at the hands of the Melville gang of bush rangers when they paid Denny an unwelcome visit in 1851. Historic. All the gangsters coming to Denny, get in. Oh, it's lovely. It's bloody hot though. Uh, this morning I came for a haircut and uh, it was really busy. There was a farmer's market on and that sort of thing, but now the town's dead. I think everyone's gone to play on the plains or they're sitting in the air conditioning like wise folk. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Have a look at this. This is what I mean by like a saloon town. It's beautiful like isn't it? There's some old buildings here, an old bank, something else. So different to what I'd have at home. So different. Oh there's the park. So here we are at the Three Muses. Just read there that apparently this and many of the buildings around the place, including the School of Art in Delenequin, was made by an Italian firm. And you can really tell that you've got like, some buildings have a very old American West feel. And then you have some quite European architecture, I guess. I mean, I appreciate Muses are from ancient Greece. And, uh, you know, they have a very Italian, Southern European style to them. But, uh, but yeah, you've definitely got a mix in Deneliquin. For such a small place it has, I mean, there's an Art Deco building over there, for goodness sake. You know, a mix of everything, really. So now we're, we're wandering into the Warring Gardens. Years of grime and dirt have hidden the true beauty of the Three Muses. In 1996, local tiller, Mr. Ron Machetti, voluntarily undertook the painstaking job of restoring the statues. One thing you've got to know about Australia, I mean, most of my viewers are Australian, but I'll tell you what's interesting about your country if you're Australian, or if you're not, learn some. I never really considered the fact that, like America, 
Australia is a place of immigration. So often you'll have people ask your heritage. Now, if you ask someone's heritage in the UK and they were born in the UK, they may get very offended. In fact, you might be accused of being racist. Here, people are quite proud of the heritage. And I know a couple of people with Italian heritage or Irish heritage or in Sydney, lots of Lebanese heritage. Oh my God, look at this. I've only been here at night for a kiss and a cuddle. What on earth is this? Obviously the grass gets watered. I think it's rained once since I've been here in a month and it lasted about 40 seconds. So it's really nice to see some proper grass. Here's an old church. Lots of old churches about. Lots of different uh, denominations of churches here uh, across the whole of Australia. But even in a small town like Denny, you've got quite a, quite a few denominations. Got these. These gardens are beautiful and there's some lovely plants over here. What are these flowers here? You don't really often... Gotta be careful for animals. Um, you don't often see flowers in Australia. Well, I haven't seen many flowers in Australia. What on earth do I know? I've only been here two months and I've only travelled like, I don't know, 800 k's or something. Lots of palm trees. God, this is pretty, this. Ooh, there's an ibis. Point number 576 of why you should come to a rural town. They're clean. Look how clean and nice this water fountain is. No graffiti, no litter, no dirt. No one's took a dump in it. Just beautiful, man. Beautiful. People just proud of the town. It's lovely to see. The bin chicken. I don't know why we have Ibis hotels in the UK. I think there's Ibis hotels here as well. Because no one likes the Ibis. They call it the bin chicken. And when they get large, that one's only small. But when they get big like the ones in Sydney, oh, they're disgusting. They're pretty ducks, aren't they? What pretty duck? This is what a road in Delenequin looks like. I mean, what they call Delenequin CBD, the central business district. <laughs> I love it here, man. It's so chill. It's so chill. Wicked.
See what I mean by many different denominations? So this sign says Anglican Church is that way. We're going to head behind us and we're going to check out the Catholic Church because it's got loads of spires, it's really nice. Isn't that pretty? I think that's a Catholic church. It's quite ordained, so I'd imagine so. Let's check it out. Wow, that's beautiful, that. I'm not sure if it is the Catholic church, you know. I have seen a Catholic church round, but I'm usually driving, uh, and I just pass it a bit too quickly. It says the Uniting Church, and then it says the Assembly of Confessing. Oh, yeah, there might be a few confessions in Denny. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. You know what I find really interesting? I find really interesting that no matter what part of the world you go, big place, small place, modern, ancient, there's forever people trying to find meaning and questioning metaphysics. And in whatever form you do that, with whatever belief or, or style of investigation you're into, it's a damn sight better than consumerism. Now I appreciate the channel's called Capitalist Buddhist, but I'm good at neither. I'm neither rich or, an, or a very good Buddhist, I put that in quotation marks because there's no such thing. But, you know, I, I don't even follow five precepts, man. But to put that as a big part of the centre of your life makes such a huge difference to anyone I've seen do it. And it's lovely to see that even in a small town with 8,000 people that's 150 or so years old, there's still plenty of places of worship and of thinking it's beautiful <sighs> this place is beautiful nah man this is the catholic church st michael's very nice it is too very oldie worldy it's got stained glass windows and everything it looks uh looks quite English but very modern brick I think this is an extension though this bit this bit is an extension and then you've got the older white painted brick behind beautiful stained glass yeah very nice usually I wouldn't take films of churches but as there's so many it's well worth a look look at that the it does look like an English church, that. Just, there's palm trees outside. <laughs> we ain't never seen that in England. Beautiful, right, let's walk back into the very center. Oh no, let's have a look at the grain mill. You must see the grain mill. I'm walking down here, right? And I think I've just seen Ely pull out in his ute. Yeah, let's catch him. Madman. Here he comes. I'll give you honey. Go on, sir. <laughs> what a legend. It's just always just massive rods. Massive straight rods everywhere. No wonder I get lost. Nothing will give you a rural town feel than an abandoned grain mill with an abandoned railway track. Look at this man. 
This is crazy, this. When I think about Delenequin, this is the sort of thing I think about. Old abandoned railway lines. Look at this, uh, look at this like uh, track changer. Manual track changer. Just pull it and change the tracks over. And it's just like almost barren wasteland. Guys, this is the edge of town. Like, this is still in town. The main, so we've just been in this direction, right? I live over there. Most people live around this area and this area. But if you go south this way, that's where Coles is, like the main supermarket. It's not as if we're like outside the town here. This is inside town. This is the centre of town. Some people would hate this, but I love it. Like, I love it. I think there's such a charm to it. Old railway tracks and big old mills with rusted tops. God. I might start writing some poetry, you know. Hello to all you lovely teachers. What's the best thing about Australia? There's alcohol in all countries. It's beefy. fucking beer, <laughs> fucking beers, boys. Bitches. Summer. <laughs> Out bitches and beef. What's the best thing about Australia? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Healy, what's the best thing about Australia? Lack of crawl. <laughs> <laughs> First thing on your mind is crying the number one thing I The best thing about Australia is the f***ing bogans, the f***ing mullets, the five post bull bars, the BNSs that we never go to. Why is Australia better than the UK? We don't know. Accent. Yeah, accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Does anyone need this? Clearly, because, yeah. because our women have teeth. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> click and collect will certainly kill f***ing diabetes because you're doing 10,000 steps a day and you're not doing a thousand whilst you're in the truck. Does diabetes come down to steps though? No. <laughs> <laughs> Find out how to cure diabetes. Oh, no. Stand up. It's easy. Stand up. Oh, right, here we go. I'm standing up, guys. All right. Now pull your pants up a little. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know it was such an effort to pull pants. All right. Now take one step. <laughs> now keep going, you fat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys know how white trash we look right now, sitting on a dusty cobwebbed front veranda on a couch, surrounded by <laughs> empty beer cans in wife beaters. That's why you drink summer ales. Hey! Bo -bo 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 hey! Hey! So what's the plan? We have another beer and then we go or what? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Squat master, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. Too many. Nearly. Look at my foot now, though. I'm happy for this to go to a vote. All those in favour of going for a walk? Hey! Is that Ed? Hey! So. We're off to the pub. We're off to the pub. This was not the plan. The plan was to go and see the stars and the sunrise, but that's not real Australia. This is Frank and I live with him, unfortunately. Hey, you gotta have, give me a better intro than that. Sorry, this is Frank, the Earl of Deleniquin. Deleniquin. Well, how do you say it? Deniliquin, like how it's spelled. <laughs> silly, silly, lily, dilly, willy. Yeah. Welcome to the Buncher, yeah, where dreams are made. This is the best bar in the world. In the world? In the world, bro. Best bar I've ever been to. If you send this video to Chris, he's gonna give you a free drink, I'm sure. I'm not doing it for the free drink. We're unsponsored today. It's just the best bar in the world. Hey, never seen yeah, it before. Yeah. That was really and good. And the was on, and now we're dollar. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. 
please like and comment and all of that no one's commenting i really appreciate when you do just type a comment in the bottom thank you very much catch you in a bit much love